What's happening, Coralist fans? And welcome back to another episode of Good Gut Life, where we teach you how to live better through gardening and positive reinforcement. Today's adventure, you ask? Planting tomatoes. That's right, we're getting an early start on this year's season in the plant sale. Uh, I'm going to show you a few techniques on how to properly plant your tomato seeds in trays and get them started. Uh, let's get right into it. Want to kind of involve you all in the process of getting these seeds started. Uh, fairly simple process, but you'd be surprised how many people are um, aloof as to what goes into getting plants started. You will need some form of apparatus, and this doesn't necessarily have to be a seed tray, but for my means, this is what best works. You can use anything, um, scraps, an old food tray, bowls, whatever you have that will hold some form of grow medium to allow you the best results. This is a 72 cell tray. Um, gonna start two of these and we're gonna continue starting these every two weeks to get some new plants rolling in. Next is choosing the proper grow medium. I've gone with soil. It works best for my setup. Um, you're gonna wanna find a nice quality dirt. This is one I've mixed up myself in the previous year. It works best for uh, seed starting, well, at least in my experience. And nice moisture retention. Next, we're gonna fill our trays with dirt. And we're gonna pack it in, not heavily, but just enough to where our seeds can get a good hold on life. I'll be back after I finish. Now that we have a good feel, it's time to plant some seeds. And what we're gonna do is you can get a pencil, a uh, toothpick, anything you have to make a, hell, even use your finger, a small indention here you're going to take one of your seeds you'll place it here and then then it'll only be about a half an inch quarter inch deep and then you'll simply seal it up with dirt or you can sprinkle a bit more pack it in Once you have them covered in with dirt, it's time to water them. You don't want to drown them out just enough to get them soaked in down to the bottom. And from there, we'll be placing on our humidity dome to ensure that we have a proper heat and germination rate. And we'll place this in a warm place under a light, window seal, heat mat, whatever is best convenient for you. And we'll check back with you here in the next three to five days to update our new friends. 